Hello chess friends, how are you? As you know Stockfish and AlphaZero's highest performance rating is over 4000 ELO, if you set it infinite ELO level then it may become monster. This is the game 6 between AlphaZero and me, so let's go, Alpha started with E4, we have C5, Knight to F3 Knight to C6 and Bishop came out to B5, here you can play Rosolomo attack it Bishop Fumetto of Sicilian defense, I choose to play E6, Alpha played Castle Knight to E7, he can play Alapin variation of Sicilian defense, or d4 directly but he chooses to play rook e1, a6, bishop a4 will cause health issues, so it's better to take the knight or move the bishop all the way back, alpha is a nicer guy, he moved back his bishop, this position remind me the 200 elo chess, how the bishop covers the king, in the end game it will protect back rank checkmate, I explored the queen side with b5, b3, he want to active his bishop on this diagonal rather than activating the bishop on this useless diagonal, knight g6 bishop e2, e5 by me. Useless move, best was to play bishop e7, because this e pawn getting permanent target for white, if you push the pawn then the d6 pawn would be a backward pawn, alpha's idea is to push the h pawn as it is to kick out the knight, knight c3 rook b8 and alpha gets the opportunity to move the knight in a great knight outpost, the knight is controlling many squares, d6 move will create weakness himself so I played bishop e6, blocking the pawn but this bishop is on a great diagonal. After opening up the position will be super active, to g3, to blocking the knight's entry point and my dreams, castle, h4 bishop c7, h5 move will lead knight e7 and then knight exchange, so alpha played c3 for preparing d4 move, we have knight e7 d4, now taking the knight isn't beneficial let me show you why, after takes e takes d5 knight e7 pawn takes, and this structure will be well protected by alpha's pieces, d6 will come so back to the position, we have d6 first to stable the position, rook c1 f6. Adding extra security for the structure, this opens up the light diagonal but the bishop can stay on there and the position is not opened yet to attack me, so white takes the pawn, e takes c5 bishop to a3, to target the pawn and the lasering these pieces, if you try to block it by playing b4 as a human thinking, then after takes takes bishop b2, it will help white to open up the c-file for his rook, bishop c4 will be a great outpost to occupy the diagonal, that's why I played bishop b6. h5 threatening to play h5 to damaging my kingside structure, after bishop e6 c4, if you take the pawn then bishop will activate on there, plus the rook will get the open file, so if you take the knight, bishop takes knight then after e takes d5, it will be a great pawn chain, you have to save the knight first then bishop h3, white will seize the d-file and the diagonal completely, he will get the passed pawn and position will be plus 5, so, back to the position I played bishop g3, bishop e2 bishop takes h5. Pawn takes knight takes b6 queen takes b6 bishop takes c5 with the rook, rook b7 queen up to d3 rook d8 queen to e3, h6 a4, targeting to the pawn with two pieces, after takes takes, we have bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, this threatening to play bishop c4 check and queen a3 to pair queen and bishop to pressuring the knight, we have knight d4 to target the queen and bishop, so alpha take it with bishop, pawn takes d4 king g2 knight c6, bishop c4 check king h8 bishop d5 to x raying the knight and queen. At the same time it targets to the knight with rook and bishop, so I go for a brilliant level, knight g5 targets to the queen and this targets to my queen, so queen f5, the queen is under attack so queen a7 rook h1, if you take the a pawn, let me show you the variation, queen takes a4, then alpha will sacrifice his rook, rook takes h6, after g takes h6 there is checkmate in few moves, starting with queen takes f6 king here queen check knight blocks check here rook h1, this is coming and how do you stop it? Ok knight h4 check rook takes queen backs, so rook g4 threatening this, rook g8 takes 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 and it is called checkmate, game will be over so back to the position, we have d3, rook b2 is coming so alpha played a5, d2 rook c2, black is out moves, if he want to survive the game then he should play correctly, for example, if you play any normal move rook c8, then after rook takes takes he will sacrifice his rook, takes queen takes here queen g8 checkmate, you will be destroyed. Rook takes h6 is a big threat, 
To stop rook takes h6 you have to keep busy white with your attacking moves, pawn promotion, now rook takes h6 will not work because after pawn takes rook queen takes f6 queen g7 will block it, so alpha takes rook, and chess friends, if you want to become smart like us then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel to more episodes like this, queen takes a5 rook h1, rook takes h6 is still coming because he have the nasty bishop position. Before he sacrificed the rook I sacrificed my rook with rook takes d5, pawn takes d5 queen takes d5 check, king can't go back because of rook b1 check which will be checkmate after rook c1. This position is drawable, it's a great victory for me with black pieces, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.